And we are back with some more FX Championship round number 15 in India. And so after 14 rounds, Yemen is still in first position and has grown his lead at the top of the table by now 43 points. Over second position, Charles. And in third is Marco with 162 points. So, Jimenez 217, Charles 174, and Marco 162. For the constructors, it is a 30 point, 38 point lead between Red in first place and Vert in second. And also, before we get to the qualifying result, Charles winning the European Tour this season was his second in a row, and Vert's third in a row. And also, as a team, it was Vert's second in a row. And so, with the qualifying results for this Indian Grand Prix, Yemen has on pole position, and you know what that means a fifth pole position this season and a 11th in his career. On the front row is Marco, followed by Disco Jimmy, Charles Smith, Orange Bear, Amo, Marcus Batchman, Lasser, and Batista. And we have the fastest lap here in India, round number 15. So last season, Lasser did a 1 minute 5 seconds and 20, and Jimenez has now the fastest lap here in India with a 1 minute 5 seconds and 3. And so, race day in India. Another sunny day for some FX racing. 29 degrees track temperature, I think. Very few um, under 30 degrees. But it feels good to have a race. It is a bit... It's not cold, but it's definitely better than anything than a 39. Well, let's go ahead and see if Jimenez can convert a fifth pole position into a victory. It's time. Truly shocking, no accident on lap number one, it feels like at the end of this train, you might see an accident as the car 
Not this pack, but the ones ahead of me was ahead of them. Was all together, and they're all just together. And it will be the two drivers in front of me that hit each other. But up front is still clean. <laughs> hey. I mean, how many races are left? Like, four races? Four races are left. And so, it is not time to play whatsoever. And we have some drivers of the road. Marcus and Amour found themselves off the road. The second collision of the race. I think another one is coming soon. I mean, you'll see it right away. But I suggest you see if it was on lap 3. Well, probably not. Lap 4, lap 5. You'll see. And so before we see any crashes, it looks like some cars have gone into the pit. Jimenez, I will go with the same tires that he went with. Shaw went in there, Smith as well. So, the main drivers are going in. Gee! See some cars going for hard tires. I mean... Not at the back, so make sure to not slow slow us down, you know. I mean, I'm on medium, so it's not that much better. And we have, yes, we have another incident. Orange bear, ouch. In a collision with another car that I won't be able to catch up to. I will allow those two to catch up to me, sadly. Much where was coming out or was in the pit. Um, I thought that Shaolin and this Kojima had pitted already, but that was actually lap number five. That was the lap that they went, out, <coughs> went in. So I don't know if one of them got hit by Orange Bear or vice versa. I mean. I can say that I maybe saw a great car, but you know, we, we need to, we truly need the facts for this one. Only in ninth position, quite shocking. Here on map number six, not making a lot of moves, and I'm feeling like 10th position is gonna catch up to me, so I may just sacrifice a move in this situation. Well, at least they won't be for long. And Smith in the pit with hard tires, Marco, but soft. So I guess I was including Marco in, in the battle. But medium tires, he meant as it did not go in. Oh my, oh my, oh, whoa! Bashman has absolutely been flipped. I've never seen that. So casually flipped. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so casually flipped. The last time I saw a car, actually, it may have happened this season. It may actually have happened this season. Ouch. I'm going to keep on going with the recording. I'm going to slow down. Smith, but that is the sacrifice. I mean, let's be real, there's a reason you're not seeing every single race. So, I think that was the man is going in. Did not see the tires, but maybe I'm gonna try and finish the race with soft tires. I will believe in the soft dream. What does that mean? Don't know. Where is Disco Jimmy? Maybe he put hard tires. I didn't even 
don't even remember. Huh? Yo, I swear this dude just teleported. Okay, next. Disco Jimmy <clears throat> with the super soft tires. Guess what? On the last lap. Hey, what happened on the last lap? No. Dropped the fifth position. I can't even catch up to this purple car right now. It looks like we have a battle for third position. I had. Yeah, two cars are pretty much together right there. And that is the last lap. I cannot chase this fight any longer. You know what I'm doing? I think I'm seeing a great car, so. Maybe it was two gray car. I don't know. I did my best, but L's were held. And let's go to the podium. And so, <clears throat> the podium for this Indian Grand Prix has Jimenez with a fifth conversion this season. Five point position, five conversion meaning a 8 conversion in his career 72.73% of his pole position are converted truly incredible ratio right now <clears throat> for a um, 14th victory and for red team it is win number 80 <clears throat> as well um, for the podiums, it is a 23rd podium for Jimenez. In second is Smith with a 14th podium. And Orange Bear finds himself in third position with a 27th podium. So, Jimenez a 5th conversion this season. Smith from 5th to 2nd in Orange River from 6th to 3rd. Marco, Jimmy, and Shao all following each other for 4th, 5th, and 6th position. And so for the constructors, Yemen is being at the top. 2nd and 3rd outside of the top 3. And that lead keeps on growing. I really gotta check out what was the biggest gap ever uh, for a championship win because I'm just, at this point, Jimenez might as well chase that record. Um, it is, it's incredible. We have three races to go. Jimenez could actually if he's capable of creating a more than 75 point gap, he could clinch the driver's title before USA. I think that has never happened in this sport. Clinching the driver's world title before USA so next is Abu Dhabi obviously it's not over but he could do it in Abu Dhabi so we were to celebrate the champion in you know staying in Asia quote unquote you know I can't I'm not this hell I'm not even I'm not even in the tour and then go to USA and only concentrate on in terms of drivers standing on the relegation battle if if there's one which there's one it's, it's looking bad but there is one so we could concentrate on that and not the other battle so 
it's it's wow 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 also i'm seeing how orange bear just just dominant his teammate bashman not doing so good and it's just you know you got a pink driver over both purple driver last year he stuck with this team a bit like beatbot signed a contract same thing with mellow so i'm just saying um i don't think there's any pink drivers coming up so orange bear might get himself a purple seat i'm just saying i'm all i don't know good luck but yeah if i'm thinking about it it's probably because there's some rumors about it i guess i will i don't even know if i'm gonna record season 31. it's all right though constructors so red at 370 and Ver at 323 47 point gap and pink back in third position quite hilarious to see them fight it like that on 72 <laughs> oh my goodness marco alone has more points than purple combined yeah that is that is a big issue that is a serious problem a serious problem some changes are gonna have to be made in purple and one of them cannot be me with them <coughs> so asian tour asian tour asian tour one last race and look at this yemen is doing even better than he did in europe this time with three victories in a row so after the pointless race in italy he comes back with three strong victories i think two of them coming from a pole position so singapore and korea yes sir two of them coming from a pole position I mean, it's, it's bro. I don't even think there's any competition. The man has already won the Asian Tour and most likely the championship. That's what I'm saying. Another win would clinch it for good. Yeah, just dominant. Simply dominant. So, next race. We will, we will see if Disco, nice, if Jimenez can clinch the world title by building a 75 point gap against Charles. I think like, the number of points that Charles has right now is the normal amount of points back in the day to win or that was i think maybe the lowest amount of points for somebody to win this championship but nowadays you really need to be on your your t's and q's man because if somebody runs away with it it is all over so i will see you for the last race of the asian tour and potentially crowning Jimenez as the world champion.